right, all right, all right, good morning, welcome back to the Pratt Pack Gym. Breakfast still being served at many of the Brighton Hot Dog locations in this region. Last night, they served up some good politics, slugging it out, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, the debate. Twitter in 2012 had 10 million tweets. Well, the folks that run that amazing brand have already said they believe it surpassed that. Final numbers aren't in, but it was a big night via social media, not just on Twitter, but Facebook too. We'll get to some of the most common things that were out in social media last night. But they talked about a number of issues, and one of them was cybersecurity, also the economy, foreign affairs, energy, environment, terrorism, and guns. They covered the entire gambit. One of the things that a lot of people were tweeting about last night, Donald Trump saying global warming is a Chinese hoax. And on Twitter, they talked about his good temperament, and I believe he did have a good temperament last night. He also, well, made a lot of people think about his comments on stop and frisk, that police action that Donald Trump was discussing last night. They also both had very strong comments about how to stop ISIS and ISIS, racial issues, along with the economy and crime and criminal justice. It really was a big night for these two candidates. I thought Lester Holt did an extremely good job under some adverse conditions. And at times the crowd got a little raucous and they were kind of... Uh, starting to whoop it up a little bit, but he kind of got them under control. All in all, I think it was a great night. I think the thing that we can all take away from everything that's happened during this presidential race, like it or not, we still live in the greatest country in the world, and democracy, from my money and my opinion, is still the place that you'll, you'll want to be. And they will do it again, but in the meantime, we will give you the postmortem on it tonight. We have got with us at 9.30 on the Disc Institute of Pittsburgh Newsline, John Delano, the KDKA TV2 money editor and political editor. He'll be joining us on the program tonight. 10 o'clock hour, right after CBS Radio News, Dr. Terry Madonna. You don't want to miss him. He, of course, runs the polling center at Franklin and Marshall. In the 8 o'clock hour, we will salute Arnold Palmer, who passed away the other day at the age of 87. And the guest list includes, we have confirmed, Bob Ford, the former director of golf from Oakmont, will be with us on the program after local news at 8. And then at 8.15 from the Post-Gazette and part of the Coons Market Black and Gold Sunday show, Bob Dvorak. At 8.30, Dirk Hartman, who is the club pro at the club at Shadow Lakes, which is an incredible public golf course. And if you haven't played it, you should. And there's still some time left this golfing season to go out there and see Dirk and Jimmy Maggs and the whole gang. And then at 8.45 from the Fox Chapel Golf Club, he is Alex Child. So we'll look back at the life and also the legacy of Arnold Palmer tonight. Enjoy the rest of your day. And remember, if you can't make it for breakfast to the Brighton Hot Dog Shop, plenty of time for lunch, dinner, or in my case, a late night snack. Because we'll be with you again from 7 until 11 on Rob Pratt Tuesday night on News Radio 1020 KDKA. Have a great day, everybody.